Simon Prisdak. We're all set to go here at a windy Hindmarsh Stadium. Round 10 in the Hyundai A-League. The Reds in red against the Phoenix in white. Taken at the top of the league, and are they fast becoming the team that everyone else has to watch? They're yeah, playing very good football. Good afternoon, Michael. The battle today, Wellington Phoenix. We've seen them able to score goals, their problems come at the other end, and against the league's highest scoring team at their home ground, a big battle for their defense today. And Talis hasn't he been in good form as well in front of goal? He takes on Christie, which is a decent ball. It's gone off the head of Nathan Burns. It'll break nicely for Allegich. Allegic, he whipped it straight back in and for all money you thought Jason Spagnolo was going to eat this up but didn't get it right, hit it into the ground and into his own man, I think it hit the back of Giraldi Jason Spagnolo in the frame after his injury problems earlier in the season on the sidelines the veteran Dutch winger Bobby Petter you have to say his time in the A-League has been blighted by injury there is some talk that Adelaide may go back into the transfer market on the new attack on player Geraldi fluffers into old to reshape Phoenix defence Stephen Old in the middle with O'Dor, Christie on the right side, Tony Lockhead on the left. 4 4 2 for Ricky Herbert. Adelaide signaling their intent very early, trying to get in behind the fullbacks for Wellington. There he is, Ricky Herbert. He's had a very, very busy schedule, not just at club level, but of course with the national team. scored last week. Smeltz. Shane Smeltz goes for goal. He's buried at the slide. Well finished for Shane Smeltz. And Wellington in front early. What a wonderful, wonderful opening save from the Wellington Phoenix. That's exactly what they needed. Great striker's instinct. Shane Smeltz received the ball from one of all Vince Lear into Smeltz. The great run from Eric took the defender's attention. He cut inside and finished inside that near post with a block. Beautiful. Knew exactly where he wanted to hit it. Left foot, bottom corner. What a wonderful opening. They're lucky they weren't one down after 30 seconds. Now they're one to the good. Just what they needed. Shane Smeltz, who had a spell with Adelaide City in the old NSL, back on his old hunting ground. And he gives the Phoenix the lead. Much to Adelaide's shock and surprise. His fifth goal of a productive season. Goal run continues. We spoke about the amount of goals already in this round. Yes, 13 goals in the three games so far. But already had one here inside the first four minutes of play. They have lost three in a row, Wellington, but they have all been by just the one goal. Identical 2 1 scoreline, so they're not that far off the pace. Spagnolo's free kick, free header. Adelaide it's Testereldi, his first goal in the Hyundai A-League. What a wonderful well time. What a wonderful moment for Testereldi. When we spoke about Wellington at the start of the program, we said they know how to score goals. Their problem is at the other end, keeping them out. That time, a feature of Adelaide's play all season has been the wide ball, the crossing into the middle. This time, Spaniolo whips a far post. The marking's wrong. Geraldi free header inside that far post. One all. Well, two Wellington defenders were there. They didn't read the flight of the ball. A simple finish for Des Geraldi. 